It's also persimmon season, but I was very stressed because I'm so prepared for the winter that I would brace myself. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and if you are new here, hi, welcome. I make Pokemon sleep related videos. Thank you so much for finding my video and clicking it. So I woke up super congested today. My nose and my sinuses just felt so blocked. So there's that. Also, I woke up feeling so tired even though I got a good amount of sleep last night. And I woke up and it is rainy and gloomy and foggy, so kind of sad about that. I was hoping to take a walk outside today during lunchtime or something, but I guess that will have to wait for another day. So, wait, what the... All right, so we're back. It seems like there was an update to the game. So, yesterday, Nothing really exciting. I mean, that's usually what happens on Mondays, right? But in terms of my Monday, I went to the grocery store because I needed to pick up a lot of produce, specifically fruits and vegetables, because I told my boyfriend that we do not eat enough fruits and vegetables in this house. So I got cuties, I got a pomegranate, apples and it's also persimmon season so i picked up a box of persimmons so very happy i also picked up some carrots you know to ingest my vitamin a and then i just picked up some cuts of meat for this week so yesterday i did make hainanese chicken rice and i also made it with winter melon spare rib soup which is a vietnamese staple the soup and i didn't use a big enough pot and pan for the chicken rice so the pot didn't properly close on top due to the chicken and because of that the rice didn't steam and cook properly and the chicken didn't steam and cook properly so i was very stressed because i was like i do not want to waste all this food i ended up saving the rice and i continued baking the chicken in the oven and it turned out all right and i was very glad mm. I'll just, let's give it to you um yeah so the chicken rice was good it was my first time making it so definitely a lot of room for improvement the soup was really good though so i was very happy about that and now we just have a lot of soup to accompany our meals for the next several days and there is still a lot of chicken rice so i'm thinking after this we will have some chicken rice i might fry an egg for my boyfriend i myself will have the soy sauce egg that i made a couple days ago and then a bowl of soup on the side to warm our souls Also, happy to see some of you guys curious or know about garlic chicken or maybe it inspired you, not garlic chicken, sorry, garlic honey and perhaps it inspired you to make your own batch, which I highly recommend. 
The thing that I had to do a bit of research though was there's a lot of talk about whether you should use pasteurized or non-pasteurized honey. Basically, basically non-pasteurized means that they didn't like heat up the honey, so a lot of the good bacteria and stuff didn't get killed away. So I use pasteurized honey, if you're curious. And when I went grocery shopping yesterday, I needed to pick up some ginger, but they didn't sell single sprigs of ginger. They only sold it in like the big bundle, so I had to get a bundle of that. And I figured I might as well make some gingered honey while I'm at it. So I'm going to do that later today as well. And we are gonna be so prepared for the winter. Ginger honey is really good to make as a tea as well. Like just over hot water, you add in some of the gingered honey and maybe a couple pieces of the ginger. And it makes for some really good tea. So this morning I burped and flipped my garlic honey and it's very fun to see the progress of it in terms of the oh i could make this the jigglypuff fruity flan so i'm gonna do that but yeah it's been a lot of fun just oh, i cannot I guess I'll make the steadfast cookies instead since that gives me a base of 6.3k Yay! So Last night, my boyfriend and I started a new series called Bear or The Bear. And the lead is the guy from the show Clueless. No, not Clueless. Shameless. From the show Shameless. He played Lip Gallagher in Shameless, and now he plays this character called Carmen in Bear. And we're like two episodes in there's a lot happening a lot going on at once but it is pretty interesting so all we all we know right now is that <clears throat> carmen's brother michael took his own life and now carmen is taking over and he comes from more of in an experienced culinary background all right, let's see what the performance issues that are going to be fixed. Okay, so the game is currently experiencing the following performance issues. Known bugs. In some cases, Snorlax's strength up animation not displaying if a charge up strength animation was triggered while Snorlax was eating berries on the screen. Oh, I've actually never noticed that. Or that just never happened to me. On some Android devices, the app restarting after a browser opened when a user tried to link accounts with Google or Facebook. Oh. That would suck because then you'll never be able to get the diamonds if you're not able to complete the link, so I could see how frustrating that is. Under certain circumstances, wait, under certain circumstances, error 028002 appearing and returning the app to the title screen when a large amount of ingredients used was cooked. Oh. The, use, the cooking pot capacity can be increased by up to 200 through the effects of main cooking skills and power up S. This bug occurred when more ingredients were used for cooking. You know what, it's nuts that some people can even get to 200. Like imagine the amount of ingredients you just need. For three meals a day, too? Alright, now for the fixed bugs. 
In some users' environments, sleep types being categorized as dozing even though the user spent 0% of their sleep duration dozing. Resolved with server updates, sleep type categorization being based on the worldwide average sleep data when using the review later function for sleep research. Not giving user the extra bonus biscuit during sleep research today after manually entering data twice in one day. Resolved with the server update, time shortening effects of the sub skills helping speed S and helping speed M not being applied to the frequency displayed on the Pokemon's detail screen when a player did a certain operation such as leveling up. Hmm. This bug only uh, this bug applied only to the frequency display displayed on the screen. We have confirmed that the time shortening effects of the sub skills were in fact applied to the actual helping time. Ah. Also, because the sub skill helping bonus applies to the whole team, it's not meant to affect the frequency displayed for each individual Pokemon. All right, some clarification on that. Um, helping bonus not being activated. Maximum amount of shortening time possible through sub skills. The total time shortening effect possible through sub skills. Currently implemented skills that affect this are helping bonus, helping speed, M and S. The m is a maximum of 35% per Pokemon. Pokemon with over 100 energy will sometimes return to 100 energy when added to a team. That sucks, but I guess that's good that they resolved it. <clears throat> In some cases, Pokemon sleep becoming unable to process beyond the now loading screen upon starting the app after iOS's quick start data transfer has been used. Gain, strength gain displaying a zero when recipe at max level 50 was cooked. Adjustments based on Pokemon nature not being reflected when using candies. And then finally, Pokemon gaining enough energy to exceed 100 during sleep at the end of the week. Usually sleep between Sunday and Monday. Interesting. And now let's see <clears throat> what everyone got. So it does seem like Shepet is still showing up, which is good. Which means they probably should have stayed on Green Grass Isle, but there's next week. So let's see <clears throat> what everyone got. So when I was in Japan, a random thought came to me. In the early ages of YouTube, there was this YouTube channel called Maggie Bon. I don't know if any of you guys might have watched her videos back then or probably heard of her ever since, but basically she would just stare into the camera for about 8 to 10 seconds. Sometimes she would say a phrase in Japanese, sometimes she would just say bye, and that would be it. And when I was watching these videos I would get so scared that it would be like jump scare right so I would brace myself but there was never any jump scare so I asked my boyfriend hey do you remember Maggie Bon and he's never been on that side of YouTube so he doesn't he didn't know what I was talking about but a couple years later Maggie Bon got the attention of the Japanese media and then she started going to Japan, recording stuff, being on shows, and I think she lives there now. But she stopped making videos. I know for a short while of time she did Twitch. But yeah, Maggie Bon. And other things that I love to watch on YouTube during my spare time, especially if I'm like cooking, cleaning, folding laundry, is I like to... <clears throat> watch explained videos of certain internet anomalies like ARGs or some adult swim content because some of that adult swim stuff is really really weird and Nightmind 
is one channel that I thoroughly enjoy. So some of his videos like um, Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. There's also un unedited footage of a bear. And he goes so well in depth to explaining like what's happening, certain themes or nuances. So if you guys are bored, I highly recommend checking that channel out. Wait a minute. Is that Halloween decor? Is Greengrass Isle still looking Halloweeny? Or maybe not. Maybe I'm just confused or open that late. Oh, another thing. So yesterday I decided to level up my Haunter into a Gengar. And now I'm low on dream shards, so there's that. And last but not least, oh, the atop belly sleep. Bennett. Mm. caught a squirtle today this is what my box currently looks like I decided to <clears throat> swap ditto Dave out for Kelly because I was just not gathering enough honey so ditto Dave is on the bench today so this is what my team currently looks like I got my Kelly, my Bayleaf, Bulbasaur, Aqua, and Butterfree. And just a lot of honey, cocoa, and one milk. Oops. Luckily for me, three of the Pokemon have the ingredient Magnet S, so it really helps with gathering all the other ingredients like ginger. That's how I'm able to make the steadfast ginger cookies. I don't even have anyone on my team that collects ginger. Oh, but I'm ring no. Hopefully someone will pop their skill. Same with the green grass soybeans. So I've been collecting those as well. But now that I'm seeing that they're running low, maybe I gotta do a little swapping around of team members. But I think I should be fine. And that about does it. Thank you guys so much for joining me in yet another episode of Pokemon Sleep. I'm very relaxed today. Kind of feeling a bit under the weather because of the weather outside. I'm not sure about you guys, but whenever it rains, it just kind of makes me feel so sad. So I'm looking forward to when the rain stops and we have a peak of sunshine coming through. Um, probably gonna make some gingered honey after this but I hope you guys take care of yourselves enjoy the rest of the day don't forget to like comment and subscribe take some time out today to do something relaxing or fun and I'll see you guys in the next video thank you guys so much for joining me again and take care bye